What's up guys, Almost Five, we're here back with another gear review video. Uh, I apologize if the audio isn't all too good. It's getting a little windy here, and I think there's a storm or something moving in, so I'm gonna have to try to do this a little quick, but uh, as you can see by the title of the video, I got a, a new pack in. This is the Rothko Mini uh, Alice Pack, the can uh, Cotton Canvas Pack. Uh, now I know this isn't you know a real alice pack or anything which it's not i can tell that just uh how it's made and everything but i wanted to go with something different as far as a pack uh you know everybody's got you know hidden woodsman packs everybody's got uh you know um surplus rucksacks and alice packs and everything which of course i do too but i just want something different from everybody so i, I want to try different stuff see how it works you know what i mean it's testing pretty much all this is it's you know trial and error seeing what works seeing what doesn't uh now first review here just not even i'd open it up just so i could uh, check the uh, straps but i haven't taken it out yet but just by first glance of it i mean the stitching and everything just looks really really good i mean you don't have anything obviously it's made on a machine but you don't have any frayed edges or anything. None of the stitching is trying to come out. I mean, it looks all really, really good. Uh, one thing I noticed is that this tag right here, it is for the wrong pack, which I don't know why. That's just kind of irritating why. As you can see here, it says the color is camo, but as you can clearly see that the pack is OD green, which I don't... I guess they just grabbed the tag and put on... Well, it doesn't matter, but go what it is it's heavyweight cotton canvas which i wanted a cotton canvas bag for a while now and then i found these which i figured why not i love the alice pack style uh drawstring tight with flat clothes now look, one thing that everybody complains about that i've seen the reviews on these which i've seen some good reviews on these everybody thinks it's a good bag i mean as from what i'm looking at it looks fairly well built uh of course i'm gonna put it through its paces with testing and everything but first glance it's it's really good i mean i with rothko you can hit or miss with stuff but i'm thinking this is a good hit uh the flap closures they are smaller on this pack than it is with the um the uh, uh front pouch open now this is not designed it's designed after an alice pack but it's not designed like an alice pack meaning that the uh the flap is going to be smaller not bigger like on a real alice pack but if you cinch down the uh, inner pouch, it will cover it. So that's fine. Which this bag isn't waterproof anyway. Maybe water resistant in a way, but eventually this will get soaked through. Adjustable uh, shoulder straps. Now, one thing about these little buckles here is they don't really feel very good. I mean, they feel che very cheaply made. This probably would be the, probably the only complaint I have right now about it is these straps right here. Because, I, and I don't think you can replace them if they break or something. You probably just have to rig something up and improvise it. But other than that, let's take it out of the uh, back here. I might need two hands to do this. So let's see. Nope. Right off the bat, very heavy. They're built very heavy, very durable. Oh, you see, it's got three. Oh, let me turn it around this way. Three front outer pouches, like a real Alice pack. Now, one reason I wanted this too is because this has the older style um, buckling system and not uh you know snap closures like on some packs i just prefer this it's just i like older stuff so i prefer an older style equipment uh i think all these are the same size pouches i don't know if they're to spec with an actual alice pack pouch they might be i'm not too sure uh one of the things i'm gonna try to test with this though is if i can get some uh wax and uh, try to waterproof this. Uh, I should be able to, being that it's, it's cotton canvas, it should take it, but. Uh, all these desk packs. Seems 
I mean, very well made. Uh, I might go through and place this with paracord at some point. Got a little cinch thing right here. Uh, no things on the bottom for a bedroll or anything, or no way to attach anything. You, I'm going to try to rig something up, too, to make it attachable. Uh, you got little pouches behind here for something. I'm not too sure what you could even put back there. Uh, but, yeah, all, not a good, a bad pack. Um, one of the things I want to test with this is they, uh, from the couple of, uh, videos that I watched on reviews of these, is they say you can't overnight these bags. And I think that's false. I think I could overnight this pack with just a little simple uh, picking of gear. I think you can overnight this fairly easy and stay very light and stay very minimal. Um, that's one of the points of being, doing uh, minimal stuff is you learn how to survive with less, pretty much. Um, and it's odd, all these little pots. Maybe you could put a thing of rope or maybe a hatchet through here or something. I don't know. Um, now this pack, I think I paid twenty twenty four dollars for it. Not too expensive. Uh, anything over thirty, I wouldn't pay. Because I mean, it's just, it's a small pack. It's not gonna hold a lot, but it will hold just enough. Uh, now, this would be also a perfect day pack for, you know, uh, like, well, day packs, um, day hiking, you know, take hunting on a hunting trip, you know, leaving a vehicle. Uh, a school bag, this would definitely be a good school bag. Uh, or uh, um, early, uh, this might be good too for Vietnam uh, reenactors. Because um, I, I know they, they made a pack, because um, this designed off of it. They made a pack that was smaller than the actual Alice pack. But I'm not too sure the name of it. I've, cause I've, I've heard this somewhere that they had an, another pack that was smaller than a medium Alice. So I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm also going to try to turn this into my summer bug out bag. Obviously since winter's gone, I don't need the full size medium Alice that I have uh, currently. Uh, I'm still going to, when winter comes back around, I'm still going to switch it, but being that winter's being phased out, I don't need, you know, a big sleeping bag. I don't need a tent anymore. I can keep my minimal, um, gear being in the summer and still do just fine. But, all in all, that's about it. Um, uh, you know, the usual like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, just crossed over a hundred uh, subscribers like uh, about a week ago. I didn't even realize it until I uh, looked on here. Uh, I'm sorry for not posting stuff. I'm just trying to uh, post this now so so I can get some content going because um, next month I got some stuff planned uh, when um, pre-spawn comes out for uh, fishing in the spring and everything. And It's going to be some good videos uh, so stay tuned for that. And that's about it and I'll catch y'all next time.